My name is Darius Spencer, freshman at Lincoln University of Missouri. I'd like to give a shout out to the 901 Memphis, Tennessee. I also like to give a shout out to the Honors College at Lincoln University. And a shout out to my basketball teammates, the new LU. You know what's going on. Go Blue Tigers. And now, here's your host, Nephew Tommy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Black College Quiz, the game show where students from our nation's HBCU compete to win prizes and scholarship money by showing what they know about history, entertainment, politics, and much, much more. The competition consists of four rounds. We're starting the first round of competition today with what we call the Talented 24. 24 students battling it out ultimately to claim bragging rights as the BCQ champion. We've already met today's contestants, so let's get the game jumping. Y'all ready? Yeah! Yes, sir. Ready? Woo! All right. This is the multiple choice round. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. The category is Black Enterprise. Be smart, 25 points. Name the music industry icon who headed the largest Black-owned company when BE's top 100 rankings began in 1973. We got Darius. Barry Gordy. Barry Gordy, absolutely right. <laughs> Celebrities for 25 points. Celebrities for 25 points. Name this talented entertainer who was the first ever African-American Cinderella on Broadway. <laughs> Darius. Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer, absolutely right. Stage and silver screen, 50 points. Tyler Perry wrote and directed a film adaptation of this 1975 choreo poem. <laughs> Darius. For colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. Absolutely right. <laughs> Contemporary writers, 75 points. This prolific author wrote compelling mystery novels and comic books such as The Juke and The Underbelly. <laughs> Brooke. Nalo Hopkinson. Wrong. I'm Gary Phillips. Gary Phillips, absolutely right. <laughs> Darius. Hey, what's up? Ready to rock and roll? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. You know the rules, right? Mm hmm 60 seconds. Yep. Seven questions. Mm hmm If you want to pass, you pass. And if we got time, you come back to uh, the ones that you passed on. All right. All right, here we go. Category all about broadcast journalist. True or false, sports notable Byron Scott is known for the phrase, booyah. False. Who traveled with President Obama, Christian Welker or Melba Tolliver? Kristen Welker. Name the host of News One Now. Mm, pass. True or false, Mark Schiavacampo is known for being one of the first digital correspondents. True. Did Stephen Smith or Mark Hill host Our World with Black Enterprise? Mark Hill. Who is the Today Show co-anchor Al Roker married to? Deborah Roberts. Name the Canadian known for being an advocate for adoptive children's rights. Michaela Piero. Name the host of News One Now. Rolling Martin. That's it. That's it, my man. We're gonna see how you did. All right. Brooke. Yeah. Come on back out, darling. Yes, sir. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome Thank back. Thank you. All right. Let's see exactly. We're gonna read them again, give you the right answers. We're gonna see how well you guys did, all right? True or false? Sports notable Byron Scott is known for the phrase booyah. The answer is false. It is Stuart Scott. Stuart Scott is known for booyah. Who, who traveled with President Obama, Christian Welker or Melville Tolliver? The correct answer is Christian Welker. Name the host of News One Now. The correct answer is Roland S. Martin. True or false? Mara Skia Van Campo is known for being one of the first digital correspondents. The correct answer is true. Did Stephen Smith or Mark Hill Host our world with Black Enterprise, and the correct answer is Mark Hill. Who is the Today Show host co-anchor Al Roker married to? The correct answer, Deborah Roberts. Name the Canadian known for being an advocate for adoptive children's rights, and the correct answer, Michaela Pereira. All right? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see how we did. How do you think you did? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Bless, 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 bless. That's all I can bless. say. All right. <laughs> Brooke Tywitt, you got five out of seven correct. Five out of seven. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That brings your score to 725 points right now. 725. Darius, you got seven out of seven. Seven out of seven. 
That now brings your score up to 625 points. Not bad, not bad at all. But guess what? Coming up next, we got your coaches. They're going to get in the mix, and uh, we're going to have the name play around. You ready for that? Yeah. Yes, sir. You think your coach is ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. All right, we'll see. We'll be back right now. BCQ, stay tuned. We'll be back with more. BC. <laughs> All right. My man, who are you? Give me your name. Kevin Thomas. Kevin Thomas. What yes, school? Sir. Lincoln University of Missouri. Oh, ah, okay. And what do you do at the school? I am the director of Academic Living and Learning Communities Honors College. All right. All right. Pretty smart, sound like. Yeah. How long have you been there? <laughs> For one year. One year? Absolutely. First year. What were you doing before that? Uh, before that, was at North Carolina State University, working with the athletic department. Okay. So you've been moving all over. Yeah, absolutely. All right. You ready to play this game? I am. All right. All right, so here we go. Darius, you won the toss. Mm -hmm. You decided to do what? You elected to go first? First. All right, let's get up. Let's get up. Let's do it. Ladies, y'all cool out a little bit. Okay. All right. Let the fellas get it going up in here. All right, Darius, you up first. The category is Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Team Lincoln, are you ready? You got 60 seconds. Ready? Start the clock. Um, African Prince. Coming to America. Mm. Uh, played a bum in... A bomb. Pass. Mm. Uh, police officer, California. Beverly Hills cop. The clumps. Mm. The clumps. Nutty professor. Big green ugly guy. Shrek. Mm. Um, animals. Dr. Doolittle. Woo! Not bad. Swing it, comes back. Boomerang. Two days. The hours combined, two days. 48 hours. Mm. Uh, keep going. Uh, he plays the role of a, of a bum and becomes rich. Time is up. Oh, not, oh. Time is up. Okay. Lincoln, you got six correct, bringing your score to 925 points. All right. It's tied up in here. You know what time it is. The wager round is up next. Students can choose to bid non sum or all of their points on our final question. Today's wager category is classic fiction. Classic fiction. Fiction. All right, so students, grab your tablets. All right, get ready to make your wager, and we'll reveal the question right after this break. We will be back with more BCQ. <laughs> Welcome back. The winner of this game will advance to the next round of competition, and they'll have a chance to continue to win more money and prizes. But right now, it's all about the wager round question. After I read it, students, you have 15 seconds to write down your answers. Here is the question. Classic fiction. Who wrote the 2013 National Book Award winner, The Good Lord Bird? Start the clock. John Brown, Randall Robinson, James McBride, Ron McNeil. Who wrote the 2013 National Book Award winner, The Good Lord Bird? John Brown, Randall Robinson, James McBride, Ron McNeil. Time is up. See how y'all did. The question was, who wrote the 2013 National Book Award winner, The Good Lord Bird? You had the choices of John Brown, Randall Robinson, James McBride, Ron McNeil. The correct answer is James McBride. James McBride. The way y'all looking at me, I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, we're going to go to my man Darius first. Darius, you're sitting on 925 points right now. What did you wager? You wagered 925, the whole thing, on James McBride. Got that thing right. Woo! 1,850 points now. 1,850. All right, Brooke Tywitt. Yeah. Yes. Let's see if you make your motherland proud. Yes. You got 1,025 points. What did you wager? 1,025 on James McBride. Brooks Tywitt, you got 2,050 points. You are our winner. Congratulations. <laughs> she is today's BCQ winner, winning not only scholarship dollars, but advancing to the next round of competition and the chance to continue to win more money and prizes on your way to Tournament of BCQ Champions. Congratulations once again.
But hang on. Darius, because on BCQ, no one leaves here empty-handed. We got a little something-something in scholarship money for you, too, all right? All right? Come on. Hey, I'm your boy, Nephew Tommy, for Black College Quiz BCQ. We will see you next time. Come on. Good job. Very good job. Very, very good job, man. You guys did well.